Numbers 26 through 29, and Luke 2. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, Take a census of all the congregation of the people of Israel, from twenty years old and upward by their fathers' houses, all in Israel who are able to go to war. And Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses. The people of Israel who came out of the land of Egypt were Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, of Hanok, the clan of the Hanokites, of Palu, the clan of the Paluites, of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the clan of the Carmites. And these are the clans of the Reubenites. And those listed were 43,730. And the sons of Palu, Eliab, the sons of Eliab, Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the Dathan and Abiram chosen from the congregation who contended against Moses and Aaron in the company of Korah when they contended against the Lord. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah when that company died, when the fire devoured 250 men and they became a warning. But the sons of Korah did not die. The sons of Simeon, according to their clans, of Nemuel, the clan of the Nemuelites, of Jamin, the clan of the Jaminites, of Jachin, the clan of the Jachinites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites, of Shal, the clan of the Shalites. These are the clans of the Simeonites, 22,200. The sons of Gad, according to their clans, of Zephon, the clan of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the clan of the Haggites, of Shunai, the clan of the Shunites, of Oznai, the clan of the Oznites, of Erai, the clan of the Erites, of Arad, the clan of the Aradites, of Arelai, the clan of the Arelites. These are the clans of the sons of Gad, as they were listed, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan, and Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, according to their clans, were of Shelah, the clan of the Shelanites, of Perez, the clan of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites, and the sons of Perez were Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of, Ham, of Hamul, the clan of the Hamulites. These are the clans of Judah as they were listed, 76,500. The sons of Issachar, according to their clans, of Tola, the clan of the Tolaites, of Puva, the clan of the Punites, of Jashub, the clan of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the clan of the Shimronites. These are the clans of Issachar, as they were listed. 64,300. The clans of Zebulun, according to their clans, of Zered, the clan of the Zeredites, of Elan, the clan of the Elanites, of Jaleel, the clan of the Jaleelites, these are the clans of the Zebulonites, as they were listed, 60,500. The sons of Joseph, according to their clans, Manasseh and Ephraim. The sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the clan of the Machirites. And Machir was the father of Gilead. Of Gilead, the clan of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead. Of Izer, the clan of the Izerites, of Helic, the clan of the Helicites, and of Azrael, the clan of the Azraelites, and of Shechem, the clan of the Shechemites, and 
of Shemida, the clan of the Shemidaites, and of Hafer, the clan of the Haferites. Now, Zelophehad, the son of Hafer, had no sons but daughters. And the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. These are the clans of Manasseh, and those listed were 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim according to their clans. Of Shuthela, the clan of the Shuthelahites. Of Becker, the clan of the Beckerites. Of Tahan, the clan of the Tahanites. And these are the sons of Shuthela. Of Iran, the clan of the Iranites. These are the clans of the sons of Ephraim as they were listed. 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph according to their clans. The sons of Benjamin according to their clans. Of Bela, the clan of the Belaites. Of Ashbel, the clan of the Ashbelites. Of Ahiram, the clan of the Ahiramites. Of Shifufim, the clan of the Shufamites. Of Hufam, the clan of the Hufamites, and the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman. Of Ard, the clan of the Ardites. Of Naaman, the clan of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin, according to their clans. And those listed were 45,600. These are the sons of Dan, according to their clans. Of Shuam, the clan of the Shuamites. These are the clans of Dan, according to their clans. All the clans of the Shuamites, as they were listed, were 64,400. The sons of Asher, according to their clans. Of Emna, the clan of the Emnites. Of Ishvai, the clan of the Ishvites. Of Beriah, the clan of the Berites. Of the sons of Beriah, of Heber, the clan of the Heberites. Of Malkiel, the clan of the Malkielites. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the clans of the sons of Asher, as they were listed, 53,400. The sons of Naphtali, according to their clans. Of Jaziel, the clan of the Jazielites. Of Gunai, the clan of the Gunites. Of Jezer, the clan of the Jezerites. Of Shilom, the clan of the Shilomites. These are the clans of Naphtali, according to their clans. And those listed were 45,400. This was the list of the people of Israel. 601,730. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Among these the land shall be divided for inheritance according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a large inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a small inheritance. Every tribe shall be given its inheritance in proportion to its list. But the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers they shall inherit. Their inheritance shall be divided according to lot between the larger and the smaller. This was the list of the Levites according to their clans, of Gershon, the clan of the Gershonites, of Kohath, the clan of the Kohathites, of Merari, the clan of the Merarites. These are the clans of Levi, the clan of the Lebnites, the clan of the Hebronites, the clan of the Mahlites, the clan of the Mushites, the clan of the Korahites, and Kohath was the father of Amram. The name of, the, of Amram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt. And she bore to Amram Aaron and Moses and Miriam, their sister. 
and to Aaron were born Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord. And those listed were twenty-three thousand every male from a month old and upward. For they were not listed among the people of Israel, because there was no inheritance given to them among the people of Israel. These were those listed by Moses and Eliazar the priest, who listed the people of Israel in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. But among these there was not one of those listed by Moses and Aaron the priest, who had listed the people of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They shall die in the wilderness. Not one of them was left, except Caleb the son of, Je of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Numbers 27 Then drew near the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hephir, the son of Gilead, son of Mekur, son of Manasseh, from the clans of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. The names of his daughters were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. And they stood before Moses and before Eliazar the priest and before the chiefs and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died for his own sin. And he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no son? Give to us a possession among our father's brothers. Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zelophehad are right. You shall give them possession of an inheritance among their father's brothers, and transfer the inheritance of their father to them. And you shall speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall transfer his inheritance to his daughter. And if he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to the nearest kinsman of his clan, and he shall possess it. And it shall be for the people of Israel a statute and rule, as the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord said to Moses, Go up into this mountain of Abarim, and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was, because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin, when the congregation quarreled, failing to uphold me as holy at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah, of Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eliazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eliazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eliazar the priest and the whole congregation, and he laid his hands on him 
and commissioned him as the Lord directed through Moses. Numbers 28 The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the people of Israel and say to them, My offering, my food for my food offerings, my pleasing aroma, you shall be careful to offer to me at its appointed time. And you shall say to them, This is the food offering that you shall offer to the Lord. Two male lambs, a year old, without blemish, day by day, as a regular offering. The one lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. Also a tenth of an ephah, a fine flour, and a grain offering, mixed with a quarter of a hin of beaten oil. It is a regular burnt offering, which was ordained at Mount Sinai for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Its drink offering shall be a quarter of a hen for each lamb. In the holy place you shall pour out a drink offering of strong drink to the Lord. The other lamb you shall offer at twilight, like the grain offering of the morning, and like its drink offering, you shall offer it as a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. On the Sabbath day, two male lambs a year old without blemish, and two tenths of an ephah fine flour for a grain offering mixed with oil, and its drink offering. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. At the beginnings of your months, you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord, two bulls from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old, without blemish, also three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour for a grain offering, mixed with oil for each bull, and two-tenths of fine flour for a grain offering, mixed with oil for the one ram, and a tenth of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering for every lamb, for a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Their drink offerings shall be half a hen of wine for a bull, a third of a hen for a ram, and a quarter of a hen for a lamb. This is the burnt offering of each month throughout the months of the year. Also one male goat for a sin offering, to the Lord. It shall be offered besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the fourteenth day of the first month is the Lord's Passover, and on the fifteenth day of this month is a feast. Seven days shall be seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, but offer a food offering, a burnt offering to the Lord. Two bulls from the herd, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old. See that they are without blemish. Also their grain offering, a fine flour mixed with oil. Three-tenths of an ephah shall you offer for a bull and two-tenths for a ram, a tenth you shall offer for each of the seven lambs, also one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you. You shall offer these besides the burnt offering of the morning, which is for a regular burnt offering. In the same way you shall offer daily for seven days the food of a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It shall be offered besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. And on the seventh day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. On the day of the first fruits, when you offer a grain offering of new grain to the Lord at your feast of weeks, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, but offer a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. 
two bulls from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, also their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for each bull, two-tenths for one ram, a tenth for each of the seven lambs, with one male goat, to make atonement for you. Besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, you shall offer them and their drink offering. See that they are without blemish. Numbers 29. On the first day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. It is a day for you to blow the trumpets. And you shall offer a burnt offering for a pleasing aroma to the Lord, one bull from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old without blemish, also their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for the bull, two-tenths for the ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs, with one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you besides the burnt offering of the new moon and its grain offering and the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and their drink offering according to the rule for them for a pleasing aroma a food offering to the lord on the tenth day of this seventh month you shall have a holy convocation and afflict yourselves you shall do no work but you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma, one bull from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, see that they are without blemish, and their grain offering shall be a fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for the bull, two-tenths for the one ram, a tenth for each of the seven lambs, also one male goat for a sin offering besides the sin offering of atonement and the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work and you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days and you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering, with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Thirteen bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, they shall be without blemish, and their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for each of the thirteen bulls, two-tenths for each of the, ram of the two rams, and a tenth for each of the fourteen lambs. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the second day, twelve bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and their drink offerings on the third day eleven bulls two rams fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls for the rams and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and its drink offering. On the fourth day, ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fifth day, nine bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering, and its drink offering. 
On the sixth day, eight bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams and for the lambs, and the prescribed quantities, also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offerings. On the seventh day, seven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering and its drink offering. On the eighth day, you shall have a solemn assembly you shall not do any ordinary work, but you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord, one bull, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old without blemish, and the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lambs, and the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and its drink offering. These you shall offer to the Lord at your appointed feasts in addition to your vow offerings and your free will offerings, for your burnt offerings and for your grain offerings and for your drink offerings and for your peace offerings. So Moses told the people of Israel everything, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Luke 2 In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart, and the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. 
And when the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who first opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, that you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And his father and his mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and arising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is opposed, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, so that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years from when she was a virgin, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. She did not depart from the temple, worshipping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and to speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. And when they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned, to, they returned into Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the group, they went a day's journey. But then they began to search for him among their relatives and acquaintances, and when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem searching for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been searching for you in great distress. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying that he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was submissive to them. And his mother treasured up all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature, and in favor with God and man.